welcome to sunday reads from the dominican friars of the province of india the lenten journey is a journey that we walk with jesus with an earnest desire to enter into life to be washed fed drunk and anointed are different expressions for how we experience that life the gospel narratives given to us do not remain as stories outside of us instead they draw us also into those events making the presence of christ alive in our lives these sundays we have the samaritan woman the man born blind and lazarus all holding our longing for christ it is in our thirst blindness or need for life we cry out in silence and pain let us listen to what jesus said as long as the day lasts i must carry out the work of the one who sent me this man was born blind and so are we all born blind it is a time of god's favor christ came to us to announce that we are in darkness or blindness until we receive the light of faith and our eyes are opened the light of faith enters our life as we have the touch of christ especially of his humanity we receive grace and truth the knowledge of god and the power to live in accordance with the nature of god so first a touch with the spittle and mud and then a full immersion into siloam which means one who has been sent the christ david was anointed as the shepherd of israel after the will of god jesus the anointed one was sent to do the works of god in a way that we could see hear and have a touch receiving sight is an illuminating of our hearts turning our lives to goodness right living and truth here we find a great gap we know the mystical meaning of christ being the source of living water the living bread and the light of the world is it only in some metaphysical sense these expressions are used is it only in an outer world christ is going to satisfy us with all these realizations how do we have a real touch of these facts in our daily lives his healing is not a power of magic it is an embrace of life if we remain in the gap of not experiencing the immersion of ourselves by deifying christ into religious frames as though an adherence to a great hero we end up closing ourselves in raising banners and slogans for jesus we want to claim that we are right and true not that we find our truth and righteousness in him we may be habituated to condemn our thirst blindness and death sins of the ancestors or the sins of ourselves causing infirmities and suffering is an old story this is a time of grace we do have our blindness it is in that blindness that the works of god might be revealed first thing then is to be sure that christ takes our thirst tragedies blindness and pain of losses seriously and with care he offers us consolation and comfort in his humanity we often miss this because we rarely think of the aspect of forming christ inside of us in our lives instead we are concerned about doing things for christ so that we can receive blessings Christ and his love extend to all humanity to the whole universe it is in that truth and light we are immersed so the sight involves kindness truth and justice forgiveness and mercy empathy and compassion reconciliation and peace so think of the pool and plunge into it christ is that pool and we are immersed in him who is all over the universe in the whole of humanity remind ourselves that we are not stones one who rises from that pool being in christ 
it's a new creation this does fill the gap mentioned above then christ is not simply a mystical excitement but the source of living water the living bread and the light of the world siloa the one who is sent is a source of living waters our journey of faith the thirst the search for life is for finding our source the christ our vision of what to become also is christ our life is a celebration of grace life and light